Hey, how's everybody doing today? Well, I got my first YouTube gig. <laughs> I met this uh, nice couple today. They came over here to pick up some transmission parts out of the back of this truck. Because I'm assuming they just had transmission work done to this thing. And uh, from the looks of it, it looks like it might have had some motor work done to it also. But this truck belongs to a young man, and I'm going to make his dreams come true, and it's going to be on this channel. I hope that I get the chance to meet the guy and shake his hand, because he's a lucky guy. <laughs> he really is. His, his parents are surprising him with this truck. They, he doesn't know it's getting fixed right now. I think the next time that he sees it, it's going to be all you know probably not finished all the way but at least the paint will be on it and um, maybe he you know it looks like he's a kind of a DIY guy himself I seen some body work over here on the side I don't know if he did it or not but you know that's the way you do it you just get out here and you get after it and that's how you learn if you do it yourself you know but his parents are gonna help him out and they're gonna make this thing they're gonna they're gonna make this thing his uh, dream come true. I can't wait till uh, I'm gonna follow it through the process as best I can. It looks like they've already started on getting the jams and stuff. It looks like they're gonna have to replace a quarter panel right there on the cab because it's pretty messed up. It looks like they've already gotten started on the door jams. Getting it all smooth though, I'll tell you man, those things right there, those are hard to sand because you got to sand each and every little bitty one of them. I've seen him struggling with that one. Got a cow induction hood on it. I don't know if they're going to do rhino liner in the in the in the bed or not. I know this. I'm going to try to put rhino liner in my uh my floor pans cuz uh I just don't like the carpet, man. It's just too uh I got a rock driveway and grass and everything else and every time I get in my 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 old Louise there, it's for those of you who haven't known, I've named my 72 Chevy truck Louise. But here's some more look at this speaking of rhino liner <laughs> i don't know man it's just uh i guess beauty is in the eyes of the beholder it looks nice it's a nice job but it's just not my taste i tell you for one thing's for sure that if you want to use rhino liner to go on your truck you don't have to be very perfect with your body work and that's a diy situation that a lot of people do but this one's professionally done at the body shop <coughs> good old Louise that's my 72 Chevy well anyway the young man sooner or later is going to be watching these videos and uh, it's a proud on I've, I'm, I'm honored to have the situ I'm honored to have the opportunity to help your dreams come true my name's limpy by the way you're gonna to get to see all these videos when the trucks complete over here and I think that's kind of neat if I was surprised with a truck that was all of a sudden surprise here's your truck I would want to see the, the steps and the processes that that go through when it goes through the process I want I would like to see my truck getting created right in front of my eyes because it's not easy work I mean these guys they uh they have to spend a lot of time on this but 
take one look take one good look at it man it's the last time you're gonna see your truck in this condition is probably this 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 you're gonna see it go through the processes and I think it's gonna put the the cherry on top of the cake you know the put the cherry on top that's what I'm doing for you <laughs> anyway I'll catch y'all later you want some more all right here's some more y'all have already seen this one this truck belongs to my buddy Lou we're fixing to get this beauty together Anyways, I'm going to let y'all go for now. I'm going to go back to tinkering on my, my toolbox. <laughs> I got a little project with my toolbox, man. I've had it going on forever, but it's almost there. I got a couple of more, couple of more places I got to prime and uh, scuff it down with some 400 grit. And I got a little bit of paint and clear that somebody gave me. And I'm going to shoot it on there and... The thing with black is it shows everything, <laughs> but it's only a toolbox, right? <laughs> anyway, I'll catch y'all later, man, and keep it straight. Limpster out. <laughs>